Good morning. So by a show of hands, how many people here today have an iPhone or an iPad? Not surprising. I know that Carrollwood Day School is extremely advanced in the use of technology, so I expected a number of hands to go up. What is surprising is that the iPhone has only been available for about 10 years. It's actually the 10-year anniversary this summer. And I can't imagine what my life was without that device. I use my phone every day to do my job, to communicate with friends and family, to shop for products and brands that I need. What did we do without this technology? I'm here today to talk to you about the extreme speed at which the world is changing and how technology is at the core. I'd like to start with a video to share with you the information we've gathered at Nielsen about this incredible change in our world. Pretty incredible statistics, right? We're about to reach 8 billion people in the world, in all parts of the world. There's a rise of urban living. The technology influence is strong and getting stronger every day. And there's a changing new generation and demographics for our common consumer. All of this means our clients, our business partners at Nielsen, the companies all around the world, need to find new ways to reach those consumers. With offices and presence in over 100 countries, our mission at Nielsen is to provide our clients with the most comprehensive view of what the consumers are buying and watching. So how do we make sense of it all? There is data coming from all the devices we use, all the ways we interact with media content, advertising, and purchasing opportunities. It's an unbelievable amount of information that here at Nielsen, we need to take those data points and translate them into something that's going to help companies like Coca-Cola and Unilever, Procter & Gamble, Disney, find the consumers that they're looking to reach and spread messages about their brands and products that are going to grow their business and be successful. We have to look at the data that's coming from television, coming from the online world, your mobile device, what content and, and what interaction you have on social media, and where you're making purchases online and in stores, 
and we have to translate that into insights, into our services that help our clients reach those consumers. Their number one question is, how are our products doing? What are the trends in the marketplace? What do consumers like? What do they want to see? What are they interested in? And how do we reach them? So I'll start with some fun fact examples. This is what Nielsen does. We measure what you watch and buy. And we produce ratings that let our clients know who's number one. What is the number one candy? What is the number one TV show for cable networks? What are the songs that you're downloading? What are the radio stations that you're listening to? In all aspects of the world, in all of your day-to-day -day interaction, we need to know how the companies that are advertising are doing. But it's not enough to just let the companies know who's winning. That's a great feeling. They're proud when they're number one. But they don't sit and enjoy that moment. They're working on how they stay in that position or how they create new products and brands that are in the same position. So it's important for Nielsen to look at broader consumer trends. Not only is it a point in time how something is doing, but how are we looking at the data, all of the data that's coming to us, and understand what the trends are that are going to help the company stay ahead. We need to tell our clients that the trend for traditional TV is usage is going down. While there's an enormous number of channels that you can watch and opportunities for TV content, the average American only watches about 20 TV stations a, a month. 20 channels out of all that's available. We also need to let them know that as the TV viewing is going down, mobile usage and apps is going up. May not be surprising to all of you that are growing up in this day and age, but for our clients it's really important because they have to reach consumers everywhere in every demographic. We also need to tell our clients about social media, which is such a huge part of what we do. We find that over 70% of the consumers are influenced. Their brand loyalty, the purchase they make, are influenced by comments they see in social media. So all of the information that we collect around the world from consumers has to go into our systems and come out as insights for our clients. And the technology is making it more and more difficult to do that. When I look at the trend of technology, I look back at the 1950s, when we started measuring black and white TV. Back then, it was actually a pretty simple equation. There were just a handful of channels, and it was a one-way conversation. Fast forward to the 90s, when the internet was introduced to homes, and the digital transformation began to give opportunities to consumers everywhere to get their information in an alternate format, real time, and with a two-way dialogue. And then in 2007, with the introduce, introduction of the iPhone, and that there are apps and different ways to interact, different ways that companies now need to reach the consumers to share their information about products and brands. Where we used to see decades between technology advancements, we're now at a time where it feels literally like those advancements are coming in a matter of days. Here's an example, a little throwback Thursday for us. Back to the year 2000, when the flash drive came out for people to be able to transmit their files, you might have documents, uh, files for school, and you can transmit them from one device to another with a simple flash drive. The size of the flash drive today hasn't changed tremendously, but pretty incredible is the fact that when the first flash drive came out in the year 2000, it held eight megabytes of data. That's about two songs. Today, that same device can hold up to a terabyte of data. And people are sharing videos and photos and complete stories rather than a single file. What's even more incredible is that for the most part, you rarely even need the device because now we have the cloud. And whether it's Apple or Google or Microsoft or Amazon Web Service, you can share information seamlessly around the globe instantaneously. instantaneously. So at Nielsen, what does this mean? The consumer's world is changing tremendously. The devices that are affecting you, that are allowing you to live in a much more efficient way are real. We have to take that problem statement and translate it into solutions by also leveraging technology. So the technology creates the challenge, creates an opportunity for businesses to be able to do something new and be more successful, and it creates the, the opportunity for us to build the technology solutions. 
These are just three examples of the products that we have at Nielsen, our three strategic platforms, our total audience, where our goal is to understand what you're watching across any device and any kind of content, our enterprise marketing cloud, where we really bring together all of your online activity and help our clients find and reach consumers, whether you're on kayak looking for your next trip and air, air flight um, or shopping online. The marketing cloud has all the data from those third-party services to help us understand where the consumers are spending time. And then our connected buy system that shares information around your purchasing power. Where are you shopping? What's happening online? What's happening in the stores? How do we prepare our clients like Walmart to make this digital transition, to go from their traditional way of selling to selling online? I tell you this not because I want you to go out and learn more about the Nielsen products, but I tell you because this matters for you and that Nielsen's not unique. Every business out around the globe is looking for ways to solve problems, new challenges that are created by technology advancement and use technology in order to create the solution. And my goal is to share with you that technology is everywhere in the world and what you're doing here today in school, the fact that you're using your iPads and you're online uh, doing research for your classes, your world is all based in technology and we need that for tomorrow. We can't even imagine what the world will look like 10 years from now when I think about the explosion we've seen in the last 10 years since that iPhone was introduced. And what you're doing in the classroom, I know you hear quite a bit about STEM, I want you to know that it's not just about a science class that you take or a math class that you take or your design uh, tech classes, it's about learning, understanding, analyzing, being curious to solve problems. And it's an absolute must. Every job that I can think of, whether it's the medical field, education, consumer industries like transportation, entertainment, they all rely on data and understanding what are trends and how they can grow their business and be successful. So we need all of you to continue with that curiosity, continue with the mindset of solving problems, whether you're passionate about your humanities class, your science class, your language arts, all of it will have a foundation of technology and a mindset that we need in our day-to-day -day business. At Nielsen, we hire engineers who are critical to collecting the data across the phones, across on the, on the laptops, from the TVs. We have to gather all of that data, and the engineers need to create the platforms for us to be able to translate it into the insights for our clients. We hire mathematicians and statisticians who are passionate about data science and are interested in looking at volumes and volumes of data to model it, to be able to understand and extract what the behavior is just by data, data points. We hire product leaders, product designers, people who are interested in designing the next best thing. They, have to, they worry and care about what is going to connect with consumers. What's going to be important to businesses? How best do we create a user interface? What should that app look like? And, and what are the use characteristics that they need to develop? Those product designers have backgrounds in business, in the humanities, in psychology and philosophy, and understanding human behavior. We also hire folks that are specialists in communications and marketing that can meet with our clients and talk about the trends they're seeing and how best to communicate and connect with new areas of business that they don't have today. It's not just about the programmers or the people that are gonna design a specific technology platform. We need a diverse set of people that have backgrounds in all the subjects, but have a common, common trait of problem solving. That's what, to me, STEM is most important, that you have a natural curiosity and that you're going to look for ways to solve new problems, to innovate, and find the next big thing that's gonna change the world and how we all live. If there's one thing I want you to take away today, it is just that. We all have to be ready to solve what's next. I'm gonna share another video. What's next is always being put in front of us. Next station. Next! Next time. You can either run from what's next, or you can become what's next. Man, you're next. You can create the next video that will set the internet on fire. You can invent the next product that will change the world. 
you can redefine your industry or create a new one. But to pull that off, you got to understand people, real people in the real world. Coming up next. So you're going to need real data. Data you can use. Data you can trust. Data backed by real science. When you have that kind of data, you'll not only see what's next, you'll get there first. So, the next time the world asks what's next, you have the answer. So as you're in the classroom and you're learning your various subjects and you hear STEM, my ask is that you put it in context of where we're going as a world. The world is changing, changing more rapidly than we've ever seen before. And at the heart of all of that change is technology. And every one of you, regardless of what you're passionate about, what you will study, where you will take your first job, will absolutely be at the center of that change and be part of the technology solution. I know that for everyone here, you are part of what is next. Thank you.